Hey everyone, if you're watching this video, you're most likely just bought a new car or it's the first time owning a car yourself and you're wondering what are some things I should really keep in my car. I have previously already done a dedicated video of the emergency items I keep in my car, so if you're interested in that specifically, definitely check out that video. I'll put it at the end of this video and also a link in the description. I use my vehicle mainly just to commute to and from work and other um, errands so I don't share this car with anybody else and I don't have kids, I don't have pets so that's the perspective I'm coming from. So the items I'm going to show you in this video are just the practical items that I think anybody can benefit from. So I'm going to break up this topic starting with areas where I keep my stuff in my car. So let's start out with the front cabin. Now I know every car is arranged differently, but these are just items you might want to keep um, at an arm's reach at the driver's seat area. So first off, I have my compact umbrella. I also have a tube of sunscreen, some deodorant, hand sanitizer, and some tissues. So that's just stuff I keep in my door jam. In another little pocket or nook, in my car near the driver's area, I keep some spare change, no more than $5 in dollar bills and quarters just for tows or parking in case I come across that. And then towards the center in another nook, I keep all my receipts, which I have items that could possibly be returned. And then I just throw them away once the return period has expired. I also have a clip-on mirror here that just elongates my field of vision. Um, also in the description if you guys are interested in that. And up here on my dash, I have a wireless car phone mount, which is really handy. Um, I also did a review on this. It not only able to wireless charge my phone, but it also has motorized clamps that can easily allow one-handed operations to open and close, and it's adjustable. You can be mounted on the windshield, the dashboard, wherever almost that you want. Throughout my entire cabin, if you haven't noticed already, are wires to actually power up my dash cams. I have one in the front and in the back for insurance reasons. Once again, I also did a review on that. And if you're interested in any of the products I'm mentioning now, I'll have product links in the description where you can buy it for yourself. And since both of these items, the wireless charging mount and also the dash cams require power, I have it lined up into my power splitter right here in the center console. It basically allows me to plug in a lot more stuff. Right now I have my Bluetooth FM transmitter so I can stream my music wirelessly to my radio in my car just because it's kind of an older car, it doesn't have built-in Bluetooth. And I also have some USB uh, charging adapters there as well. And there, that unsightly thing is my trash bag. It's really handy to have a trash bag right there in the front cabin. And this red cable here going from my dash into the center console storage area is a lightning cable because I do have an iOS device. And then in the center console, I like to store my other equipment in terms of electronics. So I used to use this Garmin GPS that I had already done a review on once again because uh, my car doesn't really have great built-in navigation. So I have my Garmin GPS along with its associated charging cable and mounts in there just for backup. I now pretty much exclusively use my phone anyways. But also in the center console, I also carry extra cables including micro USB cables and auxiliary cables. The last thing I keep in my center console is this digital tire pressure gauge. Again, I did another review on this. This also has a built-in window breaker as well, so it's a nice multi-tool and it's easily rechargeable using the power outlet from your car. Over in my glove compartment, I do have a two-tier glove compartment in my particular car. So in the top smaller compartment, I keep my napkins, also a pack of gum, and it's always also handy to carry some note cards and a pen to write with in case you need to write down something in an emergency. And in the bottom more spacious compartment, I carry my more emergency items, which I also covered in my emergency video. So things like my OBD2 scanner, this multi-tool flashlight with a window breaker and a seatbelt cutter. Of course, my car registration, insurance, and owner's manual as well. Moving on to the back passenger seat area, I try to keep things really minimalistic here just because I don't want people really messing around with the stuff in the back. So practically thinking, I do have a wet umbrella bag here just so on rainy days when they carry a wet umbrella, they can store it in there as opposed to just lying it down and getting my carpet all wet and possibly start developing mold. And I do keep these bags, one in each of the door jams on either side. 
hang on to the back of my driver's seat just because it doesn't have a pouch. I have this organizer that I use that can put in an iPad for children's viewing and there's plenty of other uh, cup holder like pockets on the sides and additional bigger pocket where I carry my extra uh, trash bags or just plastic bags in general for whatever purposes. It's always nice to have a couple of plastic bags in your car. Behind the shotgun seat, I carry just my sunshade. So this is a nice collapsible sunshade. I also did, again, a review on this. And I put it here just because it's easy to reach. Once I'm sitting in the driver's seat, I just reach my right arm over to grab it. And then I can easily just set it up and put it away with ease. Moving on to the trunk area, I do have a pretty small trunk and it does make it look like I carry a lot of stuff. But how I organize my things in my trunk, I always organize it in a modular way. Meaning like items are grouped together and they're easily movable and rearranged based on what I need to carry. So first, in attempt to keep maintenance of my carpet to a minimum, I have um, pieces of cardboard that I lay out trying to cover as much surface area as possible. And then I try to group things into either boxes or bags. I keep all of my emergency gear in this backpack right here with plenty of pockets to differentiate. Um, I like to keep it in this backpack just because it's easy to mobilize if I had to bring it to another car in need. I had already gone through in detail what I keep in this bag in my video of what I keep in my car in case of an emergency. So to save time on this video, I recommend to just watch my emergency car video. I'll put the link again at the end of this video and also in the description below so you can find out which items I keep and purchase the ones you don't have for yourself. Themselves. But moving on, I have a kind of a collapsible fabric box I have here that has handles on the side for easy mobilization once again. This I keep my cleaning supplies like paper towels, a multi-surface cleaner handy for any kind of spills, and I also have a bottle of Windex for the glass, a can of Febreze, a small portable vacuum cleaner that is charged via the power socket from your car, some rags, some pre-motion wipes, and a lint roller. Now I don't always keep this in my car since it does take up quite a bit of space but what I do like about the container that I hold it in is that it's a collapsible fabric box as you can see here. With nothing in it I can pull out the bottom and then just fold it up like so and it takes up virtually no space. Next up in boxes, they're basically just shoe boxes. I carry an extra pair of shoes and a full set of clothes including summer and winter gear. And finally, here are the things that I couldn't fit in a box or a bag or just or better left alone. So helmets and other sports equipment. I have my basketball, a football, a batman racket with the birdie, reusable grocery bags, and since I live in a snowbound region, I have my two ice scrapers, a long one and a shorter one, ice scraper and brush combo, a frisbee, and this nice portable picnic blanket slash beach blanket that you can take just to sit down on the ground with and I also have the other um, collapsible storage bin that I can use to also transport other things in need and then this long metal rod here that looks like a bicycle handle is called the billy club this is used to uh, remove the lug nuts off your car so good for tire replacement Next, I have a collapsible shovel, so again, good thing to use if your car is in the ditch or is trapped in snow. And finally, I just have a seat cushion in case I have to transport some smaller passengers. A couple of items that you might have noticed but aren't really applicable to everybody includes things that are related to my job. So my safety bag and also my construction uh, steel-toed boots here. And then, of course, underneath all of this is where my car stores my spare tire and the jack and other tools. So there you have it, those are all the practical items I keep in my car most of the time. Once again, I have all the product links of the key items mentioned in this video down below so you can pick it up for yourself. And if you're interested in watching my emergency gear video, uh, I recommend you go ahead and click on the thumbnail that should be soon appearing on the screen or also linked in the description below. If you have other practical items in your car that I don't have in mind and you would like to share with others, feel free to leave it in the comment section down below. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. Definitely leave a like if you did and consider subscribing to my channel for more videos like this.